everyone, Mango Seven Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Ark Knights, and I cannot believe I'm making this video. I can't believe I'm doing it, but I need to explain some things, and I need you guys to either tell me I am wrong or understand that you are wrong and um, understand that a lot of people are wasting their orundum or originate, whatever you want to call it. And I want to explain the differences between tenfolds and single pulls in Arknights. And I think why you should only ever do single pulls unless you're a mega whale or unless you really cannot stand to hit that skip button 10 times in a row. Um, so it's no secret that I love doing pulls in Arknights. I only ever do single pulls because I love the animations. I absolutely love opening the bags um, and a bunch of other reasons. So every single time I put up a video, uh, people get really mad at me for doing that. And not only that, but they tell me I'm um, wasting time and um wasting resources when in fact it's entirely the opposite and i'm going to tell you why and hopefully you can understand so um i think it is entirely opposite where you're not only um just saving time if you do tenfolds but you're throwing away a ton and i mean a ton of resources uh if i was to only ever do tenfolds in this game i would say I would have spent approximately 20 to 25 headhunts uh, on banners where I actively could not get a character that I was interested in. Um, and that is a big, big unfortunate thing to do in a game like Arknights where pulls are just really tough to get in the long run of the game. Um, so first off, let's talk about the guaranteed five-star or higher and how it works and how pity works in this game. Um, so first off, within the first 10 pulls, you can get a 5-star anywhere. Um, so this means your full first, first pull can be a 5-star, your second, your third, your fourth, your fifth, uh, or your 10th. And the first one you get will take away that guaranteed 5-star. If you get the guaranteed 5-star anywhere before 10, as far as I'm aware, that was not any increased rates. That was just like any other old summoning you just randomly got a five star it will take away the guaranteed five star which you will get on the 10th pull if you do not have one at that point so on the 10th pull in the summon you are getting a boost to your summon and that is when you will get the increased rate of the five or six star um so for the first 10 i would definitely recommend just doing singles uh, especially if you're only in the banner for the guaranteed uh five star or higher if you do a tenfold you could get uh the first summon being your five star and then you will essentially waste nine more summons on that banner that you didn't have to do um so that's the first thing to consider the second thing as well is pity is kind of weird in this game uh you have a two percent chance and that it increases every summon after your 50th summon and it uh, persists through banners but it's not really visible um the odds of hitting 50 summons and actually hitting pity are very very low and i haven't really heard of many people hitting pity uh so that's one thing to consider i think it's more of like extreme rare odds of hitting uh that high of summons without a six star so now that we understand hopefully how um pities summons and your first 10 work let's talk about every other 10 after this we're going to use this banner as an example because this is my most recent uh arc Knights video and we're going to talk um about iafiala and ifrit uh so let's assume a couple things uh first off in Arknights, I am never summoning for a five-star unit unless they are extreme waifu. So I don't care about five stars. Obviously, they are fantastic, but I'm never going to actively spend headhunts to get a five-star. Um, so that means I am only ever going to spend my headhunts if there is a six-star on the banner I'm actively going for. Uh, for this example, let's assume I have Ifrit. So the only unit I would want on this banner is Aya Fiala. Uh, so 
that would be the only reason for me to summon on this banner. If there was a five star I wanted, I'd be happy getting it, but I would never, ever, ever use my headhunts to summon on it. And again, this is more for free to play players or people that are not willing to spend a bunch of money and people who want to maximize their Arundum, which should honestly be everybody except for Omega Whales. So now that we have those stipulations for the banner going, Let's say we've used our first 10 summons and we got our guaranteed 5 star on the 10th pull. We now have a choice of either doing single summons or 10 pulls. And this is where people get really mad at me. At this point, I will never do a 10 pull summon unless it's uh, one of those 10 full tickets and you have no choice. I will always do single pulls. Um, the difference between a single pull and a 10 pull is nothing in terms of what you get uh there's no difference in summoning chance there's no difference in cost there's absolutely no difference from actual summoning rates and stuff like that between the two so the only reason to actively do that assuming everything else is the same is to save time but everything else is not the same and this is where people don't understand and like i said the reason we're doing this is because every time I do this, everybody yells at me and they don't understand. They can't comprehend where they're losing their summons. And I'm not sure if other content creators are saying just to do 10 pulls because people come to me saying that 10 pulls are just better and I'm dumb for doing single pulls. Uh, so let's put a couple scenarios in play. Let's say I do a headhunt times 10 at this point. On this banner, I already have Ifrit. Let's say I already have the five stars as well. I desperately want Aya Fiala. Let's do my 10 pulls. The first pull, let's say it happens to be Aya Fiala in my 10 pull. So that means I have the only thing I want out of this banner, and I do not care about dupes, and I don't think you should care about dupes either. I have the absolute only thing I want out of this banner from the first summon. That means every single summon after that is wasted on this banner. Sure, I could get lucky, I could get extremely lucky, and it could, in quotes, pay off, but mathematically, every single piece after that first summon is going to be essentially wasted a random and things I would never, ever actively do. So uh, that would mean 600 a random was spent, and then your 5,400 Arundum after that are essentially wasted. And obviously wasted is a strong word. It's just used in a way that you would never actively use it either. Uh, so after the original summon, your first summon, your next nine summons, you are summoning on a banner that has zero six stars you want to get, zero five stars you want to get, and everything after is basically just a dupe or if you're extremely lucky, an off-banner unit. Um, and that is a lot of summons. That's a lot. And add this on to every single banner. And sure, uh, getting it the first summon would be extremely lucky, but uh, it'll happen a lot and it'll happen to people a lot. And they don't realize that you are actively losing a random because of it. And now let's go through another, another scenario. Let's do single headhunts. So we can do our single headhunt. Let's say our first headhunt, uh, single headhunt, gives us a Aya Fiala again. Uh, you're, you're super happy. That's awesome. At this point, one pull in, would you then spend 5,400 more a random and finish off your tenfold? Uh, the obvious answer is no. There is no way you would absolutely do that. If a banner came up, you have every six star on it, all you can get is dupes, there is zero chance you're ever going to summon on that banner. But that is, in effect, what people are doing by doing this. So I just really, really want to make this clear. I really want people to understand why I do single pulls, not only for my enjoyment, I would do it just for my enjoyment, but mathematically and being smart with your random, there is no reason to do tenfolds outside of saving i don't know like a minute <laughs> a minute or two instead of hitting skip per tenfold so one thing i want to mention as well is on your tenfold the second you get your six star your pity has reset so even if you're one of the people that say um you know 
you're just building up pity. I still think that is incorrect because uh, you could be building pity on a banner that actually matters. And for two, your extra pulls on that tenfold, again, if you get Ayafiala on your first pull, your second, third, fourth, fifth, up to tenth are not getting the increased pity rate uh, if you happen to be in the pity range. That's all I really wanted to talk about today. If you do not understand, if I am doing something wrong, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you have opinions on this and you want to talk about it, let me know because I'd love to talk about it. But uh, this just comes up every single time I play Arknights, every single time I summon, every single time anything happens. And it just scares me. It, it terrifies me how much summoning people are wasting. Uh, and again, if I only did tenfolds, um, if I only did tenfolds, I would have lost 30 plus summons. Maybe, maybe like 20 to 30 summons. Uh, and I would have used them on banners where I already had all the six stars on. So just like think about that and let that sink in. And um, hopefully we can we can get people on the right track and not wasting their summons. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. If this explains some things, again, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. As always, uh, feel free to get mad at me in the comments like I know people are going to do <laughs> that don't understand. But anyways, have a great day. Bye, everybody.